everyone, welcome to today's video. Today we are gonna be doing look three with the beautiful Profusion Festival palette. This five looks one palette series <laughs> is all about big palettes like this and we do five looks so that we give you a little bit of inspiration, a little bit of motivation to use this palette, to use any palettes because when you're looking at this palette, you're like, where do I start? Like th that's huge. That is huge. That's what I'm all here for. So we're gonna do a little more neutral. We're gonna do a little more subdued eye, but we're gonna add some color, of course, because why wouldn't we add color? So if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell, give this video a thumbs up. We're doing a giveaway at 500 subscribers and we're almost there. So yeah, subscribe and the giveaway is pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, it is pretty cool. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I'm only getting better with my intros being shorter and I'm also cutting down time by priming my eyes. So we just use a little bit of concealer, we prime the eyes, we set the primer. Let's first go in with this awesome shade right here. This is a really nice light tan, neutral, pretty chill. I really enjoy it. This is like a great shade, because like I said, we're gonna do a little more of like a, a neutrally eye. So I'm gonna be starting out with, you know, a pretty light shade, but we're gonna be of course, building it up and making it look a little more colorful. I do want to add a little bit of color in here, but I'm going to keep it a little neutral because the great thing about this palette is, you know, we have opportunities to have some very beautiful, colorful looks, but I also want to show you, you know, you can make a neutral look of this. We all know what a neutral look is. So let's incorporate some color, but still kind of keep it a little toned it down. I'm gonna take this brush that actually came with another Profusion palette. I came with my Wanderlust palette and I wanna do a five looks on palette series with that one. And I'd also, side note, I'd love to challenge myself and do a five looks on palette series on like a little bit smaller palette, maybe like a BH Cosmetics palette, a Too Faced palette, something with a little bit of like variety, maybe the Pumpkin Spice palette. I think you guys just figured out what next month five looks on palette video is gonna, like series is gonna be. Let's go in with this shade right here. Nice brown. I hate when the brush has white bristles on top and then it like gets all dirty with color, like makes me sad. So I'm just, okay, there's not really a whole lot of color here. I'm not gonna lie. Let me just like dig. You know, I'm in look one, the look one video I did all the swatches, you can see all 35 colors of this palette, swatched out, everything like that. And I did notice there are some inconsistencies. I'm not gonna lie. There definitely are some inconsistencies when it does come to this palette. And I don't notice that as much with like, say, um, the Profusion Wanderlust palette. I, I don't see it with that one, but I definitely see it with this one. And I don't know if maybe it's like a different formula. Let me show you the Wanderlust palette just for clarification. So this is what the Wanderlust palette looks like. It has 21 colors versus the 35 colors. So I don't know if maybe there's like a slightly different formula, but I really like this one. This one's $10. I will have this palette link down below for you. It is $15. You can get it at Walmart or on the Profusion website. So one of my favorite things to do incorporating, you know, color into kind of more everyday looks is applying color on the lower lash line. It gives you a little bit of like, Ooh, she's being a little tasteful, a little experimental, but it's still a little classy. That's what I'm all here for. So um, I think I want to do, well, this is all about just having fun. Maybe I'll do like this cool lavender shade. I just uploaded, I just worked on actually my look two video, which the day I'm filming this is October 11th. And this video doesn't go up for, I think at least two weeks. Sorry, it goes up in like a little over a week from now. So for me, like I just worked on look two, like I just edited and everything. And you know, that look came out so different than I had originally like imagined. I'm not seeing a whole lot here. So I'm trying to like build it up a little bit. Like some of these shades, I just feel like there could be a little more, a little more pigmentation. But you can still tell there's a little something. I really want to maybe apply this on the lid just to have fun. I don't know, but I also want to keep it a little more neutral. Maybe we won't go as subdued as I originally thought. But this, oh, this is one of those shades where like, it's like, oh, that's, that, that's it. Yay, that's it. Um, 
Oh, what about this one? This one's so pretty. Oh yeah, we're gonna do that one. I'm always drawn to like, like really lighter, kind of more reflective metallics like that. I always have been like any like bright metallic. I'm like, yes, I need it in my life. And I remember seeing this and I actually broke the shade. Like when I first got this palette, I brought it home and it was just like crash and broke. And I was so devastated, but I ended up being able to press it back, which is really great. If all of the metallics were formulated just like this one, this would be a fantastic palette. Seriously, I'm not saying that this palette is not great because it definitely is, but I think it could be better in some aspects. And that blue shade, oh, that is so good. Literally so good. I'm gonna go in with a Morphe M224. Looks like this, this is like a synthetic brush. And we're just gonna apply this shade dry because I, we might be able to do it. It is kind of more chunky though. And that's kind of typical with some metallics. You know, you're gonna get that kind of more chunky feel. Like if we look way up close, you can kind of tell it's a little piecey, a little. Let's get let's get some spray. We'll, we'll dampen this brush. That is a blue. I'm just gonna kind of like blend it out just a little bit. Sometimes when you have like a wet brush like this, it's gonna be harder to like blend out the color. When you have a wet brush, this is mainly for placing color. We don't want to tug on the eyelid. So this is me just like patting it in, blending it in. Now that is fun. I kind of want to deepen up the outer corner just a little bit more. It's just like not doing it for me. So I think I'm going to go with this deepest brown shade over here. Like see, it's just, it's not as deep as it could be. Like, I'm really trying here. It could be better. Let's go in with the shade in the corner. We're gonna highlight the brow bone. I'm just gonna pack some on the inner corner. Maybe I'll take some of this like lightish, like lilac -y pink purple shade. Just kind of like place some on the, like the lower part of the lash line. See, these are just like little ways you can add like a little bit of color without being like, bam, in your face color. And for some people, this might be too much. Like, would I wear this exact look to work? Probably not, to be honest with you. But like, I still like it. I like the idea of the lid. Like, I just think it's like, it's kind of like, it's simplicity, it's cute. I'm just gonna blend this up. You know, it's, it's something a little bit different and it's not as elaborate which i also like like i love just like a simple some days like i love a simple like just sweep across the lid it's just cute it's simple but it looks it looks like it's a little more uh, elaborate than it really was which is always awesome let's go with the hank and henry slick with it liquid liner looks like this i'm gonna do a really thin line i think i'm not gonna do a wing real thin even though this outer part kind of got jacked up. It was a little thicker, especially on this side, that, than I had like originally like anticipated, but it's not the worst, not the worst. Let's prime the lashes with a little bit of Laura Geller Fortifying Lashes Eye Primer. I got this in a boxy charm. I think I got it last month, but I'm kind of into just using this every so often. Um, if you're new, I'm not really a lash wearer. I never really have been. I know how to apply lashes, but they're definitely not like something that I avidly purchase. Honestly, this could be a mascara on its own, but it says it's a primer. So even though I've never really seen like a black eyelash primer, I'm gonna go with Lily Lashes Triple X Mascara. Please let me know if like, if you've ever seen like a black eyelash primer, please let me know in the comments down below. This is with mascara, this is without. And I do kind of have like naturally a little bit longer lashes, not gonna lie. Like this just like amplifies them to a whole other level. Like borderline spidery lashes. <laughs> we have that, let's go ahead and go with lips. I'm gonna go in with one of my favorite liquid lipsticks. This is Morphe's School Girl. And I think this is honestly gonna be like a wedding day like color. I just love it. Mm, I love this color. It's just so much like my natural lip color. And I, I like the Morphe liquid lipstick formula. I think it's really nice, like this is 10 bucks. My dog attempted to chew on it. 
that's okay. Wait for, I'm gonna use a gloss without glitter today. Usually that's, usually I bought a sparkly gloss, but for today we're gonna go with the Iconic London Lip Plumping Gloss in the shade Love Struck. I got this in a BoxyCharm. This doesn't really have a plumping, I don't notice any plumping. Um, it's minty, has like a sweet mint kind of feel to my lips, but it's not plumping. <laughs> Yeah, it's just like a minty gloss. It doesn't like plump at all, but yeah. Okay. All right, you guys, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, be sure to check out this palette. This is really nice. I like it. Um, but I do think, I, honestly, all in all, while this is a great palette, I think there are better out there. And if you are interested in this color scheme, I'd say definitely go for it. Um, but if you are interested in just trying Profusion in general, I would maybe recommend the Wanderlust over the Festival palette. No hate to it, but I... You'll probably see if I have like some palette video with this palette in the future. But yeah, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. If you recreate this, be sure to tag me on Instagram. It's listed up here towards the end of this video. And yeah, subscribe. We're almost to 500 subscribers. Seriously, so close. But yeah, thank you for watching. And I will see you in my next one. Bye.